morning. It's 5.30. Welcome to the uh, zoning board meeting. <laughs> um, as the board of appeals. Um, for the record, the camera's on. Uh, my name is Sarah Northrup, the chair tonight. This is Mr. Smith, also known as Barry. Ms. Silver and Mr. Riddle. Ms. Mish is our planning board staff, uh, planning department staff for today, planning and sustainability staff for today. I'm going to open the public hearing on a special permit request from Maria, for the Maria Fairfield Inn. Request for additional and larger wall signs. Uh, lot map 39A81. Uh, is the proponent here? Yep. Would you please uh, <coughs> give us your name and address and uh, yeah, uh, give us a brief outline of, of your application. The Mans of Oliver, uh, owner of the Hotel Northampton, building the Marriott uh, in Conn Street, uh, 115A, uh, Conn Street. And uh, this is a hotel that it is a prototype franchise Marriott and has certain signs that has to go for visibility uh, from the street and you know, so on and for the identity. And now, uh, these two signs are the, basically the main signs on the building. One is the front uh, signs that you see on all the buildings of the hotels. And then one is on the back, straight line, uh, to identify it from Route 5. If the position was different, we wouldn't need that, the one on the back. But since the position is somehow that you see it from Route 5, and also when you enter to Cons, uh, that's very crucial to have it uh, to be seen. So uh, th those are those two signs. And also, there is one that actually is kind of decorative. It doesn't really do anything. It's just the name of it on the uh, uh, stone wall, cultured stone wall that doesn't have any light or nothing. It is just a sign being pinned. Uh, to the uh, stones, uh, I think they have it there because they don't want to have just a stone wall there. They want to have something there to break it. And, uh, and that's another sign that it is a uh, point of uh, observation that it is an extra sign. And uh, those are the ones that are here to apply for variance. Are, are any of the signs lighted? Yeah, they're all lighted. Yes, the front and back, they are, um, they are lighted, they are uh, uh, blue colored during the day, and at night when it is on, it is white color. Yeah. It, it's all backlit. Yes, it is, it is like, a pla like a plastic, what was the name of the material? It's an acrylic. They're, they're deep channel letters with an acrylic face. Could you put oh. your uh, name in? <clears throat> awesome. Thank you. I'm Derek Noble, Stephanie Brown, the architects assisting Mansoor. Um, so the letters are a channel, metal channel letter, and they're painted out on the side, and they've got an acrylic front. So they're blue colored, and the acrylic is got a uh, perforated film on it. So at night when it's lit, it glows white. So it's sort of um, they, they think they're kind of fancy. But mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice, it's a nice effect. And uh, all of these are, um, when I, I see the, we have these three yeah, yeah. So the first one says front elevation. Uh, and is that, yeah. if I was going down Con Street now, yeah. I'd be looking at the, the front elevation. That would be the what you see on east side. Faces yeah. the from, faces the Gazette. Okay. Yeah, from, the, from downtown when you go towards Route 5, you will see it mm -hmm. on the building. Yeah. From downtown. Faces the Gazette, yeah. faces the Gazette and then, because their building, the front, doesn't front Con so Street. It's, it's sideways. sideways. It's yes. perpendicular. So the front, their front of the building faces the Gazette or downtown. The rear of the structure 
is oriented such that it faces the uh, other hotel that's right next to it right. and I-91. I have a site plan I can pass around if it's helpful. Good idea. Thank you. So I want to come back to the line, but is there a height issue here at all? With the signage? Yeah. No. Okay. The ones all in the building. They're all in the building. Right. The rear, well, there is a height issue in terms of the rear sign, but because it's in for special permit, that's what you'd be granting, because typically we um, grant a special permit for signs that are you know, higher than 10 feet. They're really supposed to be oriented to parking lots or things like that. So in as part of your special permit review, you would be saying you're allowing a much bigger rear wall sign and in the location it's shown, which is higher than, taller or higher on the building than you would normally see by right. So there is cons on here. Offices, cons here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the front door sign, the first one's here. And the Gazette is, this is the Gazette is here. here. Yeah, to fit. You had your work cut out for well, it was the only way to fit the prototype onto the site is mm -hmm. tuck it in and get the the required parking. Thank you. I think uh, you probably have a series of questions. Sure. <laughs> So are the letters listed? The yep. letters are there. Well, that, right? Correct. I have a. Uh, I see. I'm not sure where that is. 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 I'm not and this is just the area with the overlay to similar to similar. Yeah, it should be able to show off. Yeah, this one, I think. This one. Now, is this this sign? Yeah, I know which one you're talking about, but I'm not sure where. This sign is right here. This sign is showing on the side of the building there. Where is one to ride in? There's a separate sign on the side. Oh, that's inside. It's a separate. There's a smaller sign. So there's three signs that light. So this sign is opposite this sign. I'm not sure whether it's this out or whether it's sort of this underneath. It looks like there's a port that's clear. Yeah. 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 Is this is the drive door the wall drive pylon, and yeah, it's to the it's right or to the left of the main doors? I believe it's going to be. It's away from the concrete. In, front the facing the energy pullman. So the front doors so are here. Right. So yeah. facing them to the right. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So there is a sign going on the building that is already uh, by right. On the Con Street facade. On the on the narrow end of the building, right. facing just that's the one that's 115 square feet. That's the first one. No, it's not in your package because it was by right. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So these are three additional. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Right. So as far as um, would you so like to see that one? Because I have that one just yeah, so you can. Yeah, I would. And they're aware of this in relation to the all lit the same way. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, well, except the last one, it's just on the... Well, the so pin letter one, one is, the stone one is not there. The one on the stone wall is not there. So the stone wall is freestanding from the building? It's actually... Yeah, it is not that. Uh, it, it, it is a torch torture that this wall, basically, it is holding. Um, holding one end. Mm -hmm. and, and then on the end is the dry structure. Nice. Like that, yeah. That's great. Questions? No. I, well, I, questions about the lighting. 
Yes, yes we do. Yes. 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 Do you have uh, other, other issues? Or we? I'm sorry. By the way, everybody turn off your cell phones. Well, let's address the lighting then. Mm -hmm. um, um, these in the in the typical case that comes before us, we usually have uh, limits on the time the lighting is allowed on the signs. And what we've done in the past is had it turned off. Well, I mean, this wouldn't work an hour after closing since it's on. You know, it's, 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 yeah. So I think it's a question of do we leave it on all mm -hmm. night or do we limit it? Well, I, um, I was going to um, I ask for clarification as to whether the lighting is on during the day too, but you just see the blue, or is there is no. that not correct? No, it is a it is a photo cell, and uh, during the day, of course, it's off, and then when the dust comes, they turn on, yeah. and uh, there are all like energy saving lights and all the LED lights I guess they are in, and. Um, uh, just the nature of the business that it is a hotel and sometimes people arrive at 2 o'clock in the morning they want to have the sign there to identify and come in so Mario's requirement is that they will stay on until the dawn and then of course at, at that time it goes off and but the way uh, it is very slick the way uh, the sign is during the day that it is blue uh, when the light turns on, however, the engineer, the, the whole thing turns white. Uh, so that, that's how uh, that plastic or whatever it is, the way they made it. Mm -hmm. So it is not the light that makes it blue color, it is just, just the plastic itself is that color. Yeah. I think I'd prefer the blue at night. Um, it's, is the uh, the sign that's on facing Con Street mm -hmm. that's on 24 hours that's already approved? Um, well, it would be on at nighttime. Um, mm -hmm. uh, right. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Um, lit, lit all um, mm -hmm. during overnight dark hours. So I'm I'm concerned about. Um, well, let's let's just. Uh, Deal with our formalities for a moment. Excuse me. Is there anyone here who would wish to speak also in support of this application? None present. Anyone here to speak in opposition? None present. Acknowledged. Thank you. Uh, so, well, my my concern is you have these. Uh, you have large, bright white lights uh, at an elevation. And uh, it makes sense that you're shining this towards the highway. Um, I think if it was my Marriott, I would want to do that. Um, I'm concerned about excess ambient light. Just, you know, Northampton turning into a spaceship landing pad. You know, just too well, much the, yeah, they are, not, um, they are not overpowering. The light is the LED light. It is enough to uh, kind of make the sun be red. And also, uh, the height of it and the distance, it will be like very small. It will look very small from the distance when you look at the way the building is situated and the back sign, especially, that you will see it basically from the spine. And um, it will be very small. And uh, Quite honestly, I, I was worried that if it is going to be legible because of the distance, you know, like that. But uh, the front also, um, if you look at it, it kind of goes towards the uh, con street. And uh, yeah, they, you know, it is a sign, it is a light and all of that, but it is not like, overpowering. It is way less than this, but almost like from here that I see, it is almost like that. You know, it is not like, you know, it hurts your eyes. It is mm -hmm. not like that at all. But we do have uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the regulations uh, provisions talking about how many lumens and all of that. Is Correct. Visible well, that's what I was, my bet is that it seems to me that it makes sense mm -hmm. to have it on, that is on the con street, which is already beyond our purview anyway. But then on the back side that faces the quality in, 
and on the side which faces the McDonald housing where there's regular, and it seems to me that it makes sense for us to impose limits because people aren't going to be coming in that direction anyway, and there's the light is already on the con street. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the, the McDonald House residence and, right and, and many of the... No, the one by the senior oh, center. Oh, you mean Salvo? No, no I mean... Well, well I meant McDonald, but you're right, yeah, Salvo. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The issue is that the, the... Well, I would acknowledge the population in that building are folks who um, may have some issues, uh, mental health issues and other issues, and may need uh, be really troubled by a, a new white light uh, pointing at that building. So that, 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 is, that is something, that's what we're talking about. Can you clarify what um, the other hotel has in terms of lighting that you know? The quality in right next mm -hmm. to it? I don't know, but I'm fair, I don't know about the sidewall sign. At, um, uh, Mr. Gallywalk might be able to, um, Describe it. I don't know if you know what the, if the Quality Inn has a sign on your side of the building. There is one that uh, it is a ground sign they have, which is the same as ours almost. Right, but the wall and sign. The about? wall sign, there is one above the, uh, almost like on the roof line. They have a big sign there. On the downtown side. But, uh, on, or is I it on the it faces the five. Oh, okay. I did, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> and it just occurred to me yeah. that we could look at Street View. Mm. And you know that building that you are you are referring to. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if you have anything here that to show that building, the side of it, it is facing the hotel. But uh, if the hotel is like this and the sign is here. The building, that building is almost like that, the side of it, it is not like people can see it. Mm -hmm. It is the staircase. Then. I think that's right. Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know, I can't, I, I don't it's recall. Stairwell. It's a stairwell on the side. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that there are guidelines for the amount, number of lumens in that allow to cover this. I, mean, I think alternatively you could put a condition that just that um, downtown facing side or the, the main front entrance side be turned off at a certain hour because it does face, you know, apartment units or, or you know, this side. And it's not, you don't, that's not as necessary as people trying to find the place from Route 5 or 91. So, or, I mean, either way, or if you're comfortable with it. Yeah. Um, because it is a different kind of business that is open all the time as opposed to the car dealerships that do close. Um, you know, it is a little bit of a different situation. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting somewhere here. If you have more discussion, I will... Uh, be able to see it in a moment. The only well, issue is you're not going to be able to see whether it's lit anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so even if the sign is there. Mm -hmm. I think you can see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So staff has no concerns with the number of signs or the lighting requested, even if it's um, even on the part that's facing downtown. Um, I don't, I, uh, and, and the, the reason being the type of the business that it is, and that um, they aren't, they're, you know, the channel lettering, so it's not, um, you know, reflecting off the building, or, um, and it's, it's not a situation where you've got um, a light shining on the building and it's not cut off or anything like that, so you're not going to get this up lighting um, that we need. <clears throat> right app, which is, I think, what, directly across from where it would be? Um, is that an issue there? Or? I don't know. I mean, you know, the Shell gas station is also right across the street, and they're open all the time, and their lights 
predate the zoning. Yeah, that's true. Um, and so, you know, the, obviously the next time they come in, we can address that. But, um, and not just, so I think comparatively, this will be much lower Sweet. impact okay. than okay. what's out there. Okay. Okay. close public hearing. Second. All in favor? Am I on this spot? Yeah. <laughs> There's okay. only three of us that vote on any oh. given uh, <laughs> request, so we can always. Okay. Any other? Okay, so I move that we accept the um, the request for additional three signs um, as requested by the hotel in area. I don't know that I feel the need to put down any conditions. If anybody wants to make a friendly amendment, that's fine. Except they did, it was three signs that they wanted. That's what it said, yeah. Three signs. Second. All in favor? There you go. Thank you so much. When will you be Thank open you. for business? Hoping that we are going to open. <laughs> if it is not, we, we have because of the weather. We have a little bit of delays, but they made up for it. They work on the weekend, holidays, and so on. So we are a little bit behind. But I'm hoping to open first week of August. Yeah. There's a, so right now it is too much stuff. All the supplies has to be ordered, all the furniture, fixture, the lighting. I mean, you name it. It is all, all over. And then you have to order, uh, like the carpet, it doesn't come with pad. You have to order it all separately. And then, uh, pillowcases. You can't set your kind of pillow. You know, you have to make sure you have it. Uh, yes. so, <laughs> those are the things these days I'm busy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. 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 Uh, King Street, Northampton, 18D, Lot 47, as a proponent. Will you state your name and address and uh, give us a little outline? Carolyn Parker, 3 Lorion Avenue, Worcester, Massachusetts, 01606. I am here representing uh, CBS. Um, I think it's been a year or two that CBS has been going around to all of their locations, and they are going, trying to just cover up the white that is currently in front of their window. The reason the white is there to begin with in this particular store is that on the left-hand side, that is where their photo center is and their transaction area. And they just don't want people to be able to look in. And then on the right-hand side, there's makeup. So it's as tall as the makeup is, like Maybelline and all that, up against that wall. And that is the reason for the larger um, spandrel on that side. So what they've been doing at most of their locations is they're putting in just a red, you know, red background with CVS. But in towns like yours, what they have is they call it a historic. So what they've gone around and they've taken pictures of historic buildings, and then they make that into the decal, and they put it on the window so that it's, you know, not so offensive. <laughs> so we're basically maintaining the same square footage that is currently there, well, covering, because it's cover, currently covering the windows, but now there's going to be, you know, a photo and, oh, I think, just a few CDSs here and there. So, um, I was confused by these photos. The, um, the white blaze will remain the same, and then these photos that are on the bottom will be in the clear part instead? Well, the, the yeah, I mean, the, the, the part of, whatever's not covered is glass. Clear glass it's, above the white clear panel glass above, above, above it. A photo panel, or graphic, I'll call it. Right, so like, say on the left-hand side, we're looking at 40% of the window covered, as opposed to 20. And on the right-hand side, it's approximately 55 square feet. Oh, 55% of the okay. window covered. Should I even be looking at these pictures? Because I don't, I'm not sure what they are. 
Well, you can look at, maybe not that, if you're trying to compare to the existing condition, if you look at the photos, in the, and not that, but yeah, the other package. part of your application, right. okay. yeah. there you can see that you can see into the store above these white panels. Right. So, so what they want to do is make, white, make everything white from the inside and then put these um, on the graphics top. on the, well, depending on what side, the bottom half, right. so that it's so not just plain white. This is white now, they're going to just replace it with this. Okay. So where? On this side? So yeah. on this side has shown. Yeah. 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 That's gonna be this side. This so side. above that, this is just clear then. Yes. Okay. That's glass. Okay. 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 So glass. it's just the photos are going right. here. And so on this side the photos are going on the double. Where the water yeah. is, right? Okay. And the reason why it's if what well, we consider it a sign because it has C V S on it, it has part of their logo stuff. So that, mm -hmm. that's what trick the zoning board special. Okay. Right, but if you just took the CVS portion of it, it would probably be only 20%. You know, so. <coughs> well, and, and it's, is this see-through or is this just the no, photo? No, no, that's all you're going to see. That's all your photo. It's just super important. Right, and it's on the inside of the building, so the various coming. things in Northampton, right? No, they're no. not at all in Northampton. None of those are on this. They're just they just kind of look like they see. might be in there. Well, that's the UMass Chapel, <laughs> and this no, one could be inside the new Smith Engineering Building. The screen the screen 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 screen. Screen. They show they show a large on the last page. They show like a full picture of what it is. Otherwise, they're on as stock photo. Oh, I think that's a I think that's the Amherst Town Hall. I don't know about that. White steeple. Yes, it doesn't say where they're taking, but that's okay. Yeah, and I don't know. So. That's okay. All right, so yeah, staff has no good. concerns about CBS being clustered all over. Like, that's out of bed. I mean, I, th I think the issue is actually more. So this is also going to the planning board. Just so you're clear. The reason why it's going to the planning board is that there are specific design criteria in the Highway Business District that say you need to have so uh, X percentage of your building has to be glass. The idea is to create a storefront that you can see through. I think um, from a sign standpoint, I don't have a problem with that. It's more about blocking the whole concept of having the glass there was so you can see through. So this even though they've already started to block it, or they've for a long time blocked it from the inside with their, um, you know, display racks from the interior, um, the this would really sort of completely block any kind of visibility into the store, which is the whole point behind having glass in your storefront. So that I think that's a separate issue from the sign um, piece of it, um, and the planning board's going to talk about that tonight. But I think from a sign perspective, I don't, I mean, these are pretty small. I think at the very least, it provides some level of interest on the windows as opposed to just a blank white. So from that context, you know, it's not, it's better than just having a, a blank wall. Because it has pictures, you know, so it's not the look. Theoretically, we could approve this and then the planning board yeah. could put the cabash on it. Yeah. Does it make sense for us to wait? No. 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 Because there's a totally different permit. Okay. And so it could be that you guys are fine with a sign piece of it, and that's totally, I mean, that, that's fine. And, and it doesn't detract from your approval of it, it's just a different review. They're looking at it from a different perspective. All right, and the standard, as I understand it, is that a, the additional signs would not detract from the character of the neighborhood and sh should be permitted in the public interest, right? And that's an and. And, yes, and I'm not sure what the public interest is. Can you help us with that? Well, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm remembering when this was built, and they came in for extra signage, and they had additional signage on all the awnings. Uh, all these red awnings all had signage on them, uh, more words, and... Uh, lighting and the I, I, what I remember of it you were around the board. I don't remember. I remember the the board basically said you've got enough CVS. Everybody knows where it is. You don't need to say CVS six
six more times on the awnings and light it up. It was, uh, and, and there was some discussion about this as being uh, distracting for drivers, clutter, and not necessary for the public interest. Uh, so, so to me, that particular, that was this building, these awnings. Uh, right, and that, because they were, they were illuminated, then they would be seen from the roadway. These won't be seen from people, you know, that are driving by from the, for the distance they are from the roadway. And they're not illuminated. And they're not illuminated. That's good. I like these that aren't illuminated. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so they'll also here? cut down on illumination coming from the building, too. I don't really have a problem with it. It'd be interesting to see what it looks like, and then we'll have something to go by the next time. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with it. Why don't you go ahead and Okay. Um, I'll make a motion of course. Okay. Second. All in favor? Public hearing is closed. Thank you. We might do a little more discussing and then vote. Thank you. I don't have anything additional to say. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve this uh, application for the uh, what we call it additional signage as presented in the application for uh, CBS on Kings Second. Discussion? <laughs> I'm still thinking now what the, the, the word precedent comes to mind. We're uh, adding a lot of, technically, even though it's a small CVS word, all of this is now additional to permanent signage on the building on King Street. I know we're going to do that on any building, all buildings on King Street. Well, it still doesn't even come close to that auto shop down by like, however they ended up with all theirs, but it's Acme Automotive. Oh, Acme Automotive. Have you ever noticed Acme Automotive? A lot of signage, huh? A lot of signage. This is not even close. Acme Automotive is by where you are across from the mall. Close to store 44 at the liquor store. There. Yeah. Yeah. It's right by that new light for the <laughs> Where Enterprise used to be? Huh? Where Enterprise? No, it always used to be there. Oh, right between Stop and Shop and Where Enterprise was. Yes. Oh, that's not there anymore. Yes. No, you yeah, come across the street from Wendy's. That's it. Yeah, across from Wendy's. Yeah. So. Is that green? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. Um, so, I'm, I'm just thinking about. Uh, no, and we'll continue over the years to have uh, stores come in and want a certain amount of signage. And, okay, here we're granting. Additional 200 square feet, 200.8 square feet. Now, do you consider the, can I speak or not? Sorry, um, <laughs> you can't, um, since we closed the public hearing. Um, it is uh, definitely the CBS is I the sign, we, the graphic isn't a sign. Yeah, I mean, we could require that CVS be taken off. It's spelled backwards. <laughs> so people <laughs> can only see it in their rear view mirror. Well, um, they don't need a permit for the graphics. The graphics aren't technically signage, correct? They would right. put a picture in, your, in the window. Yeah. So, um, I'm thinking of it, you know, allowing the, the lettering can just well, well, you, not even addressing the graphics. I kind of like the idea of seeing what this looks like, actually. It's going to look better with the balloons bouncing off an open car, but with a, with a for sale sign. So those are, those those are really good. <laughs> 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 Tony Patello, he'll go away. I, I, I understand, and I, I kind of share some of your concern. I, I think that there's a lot of 
bigger issue is the glass, and that's not ours. That's you know to have a building that you know, has nice glass, you know, completely covered up. That's my that's my issue. I mean, you could, could you, you know, you could approve it as presented, or you could say limited to one CVS pharmacy um, lettering per side. Per side of the building. Right. Per, yeah. Because they've got two corners, right, that are coming together. So you know. So do you want me to make an amendment? I'm proposing about this thing already. <laughs> I'm thinking about an amendment not uh, just just specifying that the because uh, theoretically if we're permitting an extra 200.88 square feet, it could be a lot more. We're not, are we permitting this exact graphic as yes, presented? Yes, as presented. Okay. So you've got, so far on this one side, you've got one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then the other side uh, is, is this, uh, three also. No, three also. All right, well, we'll add, okay, that's comforting that it's, that it's this graphic as presented. I don't want to call the graphic signage. I guess the, the proposal isn't. I'm looking on the plan here. It says graphics proposed plus. Oh, you know, I just don't see where this is in the public interest to have one, two, three more CBS signs under a big, huge CBS sign on one side, and I'm not sure how many more on the other side. Oh, well, here we go. One, two, three more on the other side. Under another huge CBS. I think the I'm not sure. will look I don't know what the public interest is, how it is served by that. I think the building will look better. Do you? Yeah. Well, um, I'm comforted by the graphics being as presented, and they can't, you know, come back and have. Uh, you can't just put up something differently that's right. lit and uh, all red or something. Is, is this embedded in the glass? Oops, can't. Or no, is it's just a decal. So it's just taped on, basically. On the outside. On the outside? On the outside of the glass. It's, it's, on the it's attached to a spandrel, so it's actually not even touching the glass. Sorry. But we know oh, that oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, not really. It's in the glass. It covers the glass. It, you know, it's part of. It's easily it's removed. Too. Right. It's not built into buildings. The buildings there. They're not going to rip out the windows. Um, for the record, there's no one else in attendance who could be proponent or opposed. Um, and we uh, we have a motion, and it's been seconded. So. Shall we vote? Sure. Will we vote to vote? All in favor? There you go. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be out sleeping in the morning. So we'll be, uh, we have uh, minutes from February yeah. 27th, both the residential finding and the uh, 5.30 period. I can't move to the residential findings. There. You can vote to accept the minutes. Okay. I'll vote to accept the minutes. I mean, I'll move to accept the minutes. Mm -hmm. Great job. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye.